Welcome to Age of Invention, a series of short films by Merton Heritage Service to highlight the work of Merton's scientific and technological pioneers. This film is about Dr. William Bateson, plant geneticist. William was born in Whitby, Yorkshire in 1861, the son of a Cambridge University professor. Educated at Rugby School, then St. John's College, Cambridge, he studied natural sciences. During the late 19th century, the majority of his work was zoological research, especially into the form and shape of creatures, including an ocean dwelling worm, said to show a link between the development of invertebrates to vertebrates. His research included work and study in the USA and Central Asia. Back in Cambridge, Bateson began to study the principles of inheritance and variation and the effect of the environment on inherited characteristics. He rejected Charles Darwin's theory of gradual evolution, observing instead jumps in the process. William sought information from flower shows, animal displays and museums, using this to form his book Materials for the Study of Variation. Published in 1894, this became a science classic and Bateson was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society. He was also awarded their Darwin Medal in 1904. In 1905, Bateson became the first person to use the term genetics for the study of inheritance and variation. Between 1900 and 1910, he directed an informal school of genetics at Cambridge University, where most of his group were women linked to Newnham College, including his wife Beatrice and her sister Florence Durham. They assisted William in experiments, breeding poultry and sweet peas to develop his theory of inheritance. By now, William was fascinated by the work of Austrian monk Gregor Mendel, who in 1866 claimed that heredity has two forms, dominant and recessive, that influence the development of plants and living creatures from generation to generation. Bateson used plant research to refine this theory, inventing new terminology which forms the basis of gene theory. Keen to establish a new centre for the study of this topic, William approached Cambridge University for help but was refused. In 1910, he was offered the directorship of the newly formed John Innes Horticultural Institution in Merton Park. This would offer the research facilities that he needed, and he soon moved to Watery Lane in the area. Under the terms of his 1904 will, property developer and philanthropist John Innes left over £300,000 to found a school of horticulture. Based in the grounds of Innes' former home, its chief remit was research, but training was also available for a limited number of student gardeners. Driving forces behind the new institution were Sir David Prane, director of Kew Gardens, and Dr William Bateson himself. Thanks to Bateson, the institute became the first British centre for the study of plant genetics and cell studies. He employed scientists of outstanding calibre and the institution developed an international reputation for the advancement of cell biology. Painstaking research, cross-pollination and seed trials led to the cultivation of new plant species and the development of seed crops, plus the formation of the famous John Innes compost. Bateson died in 1926 and the John Innes Horticultural Institution was transferred from Merton in 1949. However, William's pioneering work is still remembered each year at the John Innes Centre, now based in Norwich, where an annual lecture is held in his name. If you would like to know more about Merton's heritage, visit our Merton Memories website at www.merton.gov.uk forward slash memories. You can also get information from Merton Heritage and Local Studies Centre, which is based on the second floor of Morden Library.